I think we talked about her like for like two seconds because yeah, I, I want to say her and Sierra had like I guess Sierra made. Oh, her that's her. Made her take down the song. So realistically, and this is one of those videos where sometimes it'd be like, I don't be like you. I, I know sometimes certain videos would be like. Do I want to do a reaction to this? Because mm -hmm. I just know what type of conversation is going to be. And I don't feel like having a conversation. Like something I just don't have the energy to argue with um with women about. And just real quick before we get into that topic, I do I, it was and it was crazy because you know, of course, like when you have videos that go viral, sometimes they linger over in a couple of days and people saw a comment. So just off of just that, and I'm not gonna stay on this long because we talked about it last week, but just the whole little Drake AI situation. Somebody commented, oh, like it was corny. So you know, sometimes like especially on Monday, I got time. I'm looking up topics anyway, so I'm on social media. I'm not gonna act like I didn't see the comment. I seen it. So I went to the person page and they got a bunch of mean pages and post reposting other people's content. So I asked them, I'm like, you got a problem with AI, but you don't even create your own content. T explain to me the difference. How do you feel like one is different from the other? Like, how do you how do you sit here and say, I'm gonna take my principles and morals on you can't use AI, but you post memes all day that you don't create, or you re you repost other people's content? It's the same exact thing. You didn't come up with it. You are lazy enough that you can't create your own content. You're repurposing somebody else's content. How can you be upset with Drake doing AI? That's true. And he still and he still rapped it. That was, he still wrote that verse and he still rapped it. He just put a filter on it. But explain to me what the difference. The dude like he tried to argue back. No, I said no. Listen to what I'm telling you. You take your time and explain to me what the difference is. If you can't enjoy the rest of your week. And, oh man, you got it. I ain't about to sit here and argue. Yeah, because you can't explain it. Because when I broke it down to you like that and told you, tell me the difference between you being lazy and you can't create your own content. And you and you and this person ain't even got no real followers. You just one of them people who just post a bunch of memes and boasted like uh diluted Instagram videos. Like you ain't getting no traction off of it, but you're still doing it. So my thing of it is, is okay. So explain to me why you think it, what is the difference? Cause you don't have a bone in your body to be creative enough to be like, even if I like this meme, let me talk over it or whatever the case may be, or let me put my opinion on it. You're not, you just reposting stuff. You don't even have an opinion on what you repost and you just posting it. So tell me what the difference is. Cause that's AI. You didn't do nothing besides repost something. So somebody else did the hard work and you're trying and you still ain't even reaping the benefits of it, but you're trying to. So that was just like I said, I I don't want to I just I just it was just a conversation that I seen in my comment section. So I just addressed it real quick while we here. But again, going into the um stunner girl. So basically she was performing at I don't even know where it looked, it's just like one of those little I ain't gonna say it was a hole in the wall, but probably close to it because the light was just like the light just and you reason why you judge her is why you judge it off of lightning and everything, and it just looked like it was in a hole in the wall. So she was performing, she had like one of these um she had like a, some booty shorts on her her bottom of her butt cheek was hanging out and she was performing. And of course, like I said, I don't know none of her music. I'm not even trying to shade her because that's kind of not even the whole purpose. But it was just like a dude smacked her butt. And that's how I mean, the close, obviously how close the stage was. And there wasn't no security separating her from the people in the stage that like he literally got a whole handful of her cheeks. She went, told her husband and then oh, her, that's hu her husband. Yeah, that's her husband. So then her husband, I guess, you know, wait a second, jumped off the stage. And then he got in the dude face and just talking and talking and talking. And then the security guard had to come and actually get it cracking off. So that my the reason why. And I, when I when I see and of course, this is what I want to think I love about social media. I know I'm gonna look at the comments. And that's the difference between the way women see certain situations and men seen. It. And that's the reason what made me be like, I don't even care about talking about until we get on the podcast, because I, I'm just looking at a bunch of women like, oh, yeah, that's how your man's. He didn't do nothing. He got yeah, off he the stage and literally was just talking. So if that was my, that's your wife. You're supposed to pop off on and, and listen to what I'm saying. But that is my point of remember last week. I can't remember what we was talking about, but I was saying saying dudes got to be careful because women will jump you out there. And oh, when we saw about Chris Brown and Quavo, and you they don't know if you got no hands because realistically, again, like I said, she don't have no big enough, especially if her husband is not like he ain't a celebrity, he's not a, a or if he is a celebrity, he's probably a celebrity because he attached to her. So whatever, if you want to say like they a Z-list celebrity, because he's they in that whatever world they in. I don't like I said, I don't know her or what she's from. Only the reason why I even kind of familiar with her name is because of the Sierra situation. So, like I said, just with all that still being said, it's like, dog, he, your girl shouldn't even need no security because one, if she she a female rapper, I don't necessarily know if she wear jewelry or none of that. But at this point, dog, she what, ain't all that. But you know what I'm saying? I would mean, screw all that. She's not a big enough artist that you should sit here. If we talking about expenses, you shouldn't even be having her pay for security. So when I've managed bands, I ain't paying for. Why I'm not paying for no security? I'm gonna do security. Or I'm gonna have my men from my hood do security. I'm not about to sit here and pay somebody to be security. Cause for, if you if you from a hood, most time you and you know enough hood dudes, they just happy to get out the house, so they can go to the club for free. And all I gotta do is make sure nothing happen. To you nigga, they are ecstatic about coming to the club with you. So for a fact that your girl gotta still pay for security, and that be the thing when I be when sometimes it's like even when I'm watching, when I'm, she, I don't, it probably, that that look like kind of like a club security. So maybe she probably didn't even pay for. It. I feel like that was probably club security. Cause he nah, because she, he because it, I seen the way to do because the, the club security security shirt on. Like no, a, no 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 he didn't. 
He just had he just had like an all black like a hoodie on. He ain't had no security. Like watch the video again. He ain't had nothing. On. But I could tell because realistically, no club security would just would have popped off on a a, a civilian like that because you lose your job because you had no reason to. Him. You had no reason to sit here and do that unless you knew the backstory of what happened. So I'm sure nine times out of ten he may have told him. But my only thing of what it is is she jumped him out there and he still just was rapping. It's like dog, you jumped your husband out there and what say if dude if Slim had some type of hands because you really ain't do nothing. Y'all jumped him and he still got up, got up. flexing his muscles and mm -hmm. all that. Like he was talking and I even see he did an interview. I don't. I ain't played just because the sound just sound crazy, but he was just talking about it. Like, I just want to shoot the fair one with him. Now you waited until the security guy popped off on me, and then you try to get your kicks, and after he already got me on the ground, which mm -hmm. to me is corny. I'm talking about, and the reason why I'm saying it's corny because that's your if that's supposed to be your wife, and this is the line of work she is, and this is the way she coming out of the out of the house, especially and this is just even for dudes. When I'm saying here saying like you got to be careful because women to jump you out there and put you in dangerous situations because let's say the security guy didn't jump in it. Nine mm -hmm. times out of ten, her husband knew his hands ain't work like that because that's why he was talking too much. Because if a nigga violate my wife and I'm jumping off. Especially, and let's be clear, the dude that touched her butt was a small, fragile, built man. So it's like, nigga, if you touch my wife, well, you should have smacked him off the rip. And there should have been no talking. He knew what he did, and you knew what he did. It should have been no y'all face to face, and you just wrapping him up. No, you should have smacked him, and then you and he should have got it popping. The security guy should have just come and helped you if it needed to be escalated. But the security guy shouldn't have had to do the brunt of the work. And this is your wife. You got to still go home to her. So, like I said, with all that still being said, it's still just like. You, yeah, you jumped him out there. He just wasn't built like that. Like, and that's, and you got to be careful, especially if you are a woman of, of any type of stature and you want to be a celebrity. To me, those are the things that I'm going to keep in mind. Like, I'd rather sit here and say, if I'm going to sit here and have just a, a husband manager or a husband whatever around me, though, you need to get to the gym and do something. And I'm not sitting here saying that just off of some workout stuff, just because I'm looking at the situation and realistically, you wasn't prepared to protect your, like, no, you had the whole little man. We all, I don't know where you at right now, where it was cold enough that you, over the weekend, that you needed to have a coat and a hoodie on. So you, and a book bag, so you doing the whole little thing that the young kids do to try to make it look like you got a strap. Like, that's what the young kids do. Like, oh, I want to look tough, so I'm just going to be 90 degrees outside, and I'm going to have a hoodie and a coat on so people think I got the blicky on me. So you dress like you strapped up, but you wasn't even ready to get active. And I can tell by your demeanor, you still wasn't ready to get active. So even if you had a strap on you, you really wasn't even ready to bust it yet because you're just your body language and that it was just like, bro, I was like, this can't be somebody's husband. You weren't not prepared for this, and this is just weak. And that's when we could take the money out of all of that and sit here and say, when we talk about providing and protecting, that man ain't ready to do none of that. Like, she should want a divorce after that. I know, like I said, and this is the difference between women and men, because I watch all, I watch dudes on social media respond to it, and and uh, and they was on the same page that I, I was. was on. And if I was dude, I'm I'm about to press charges now. No, so, I'm going to play, well, I'm glad you said that, because people were saying that, that she could get sued, so I'm going to play the clip yeah, of what, what she you said. Come in there Oh, in reality, I really could have him in jail right now for sexually for sexual assault, but I ain't even put Brad in jail. And um, not only that, hold on, not only that, he went on the internet, he DM'd me like 50 times, popping it, like, yeah, bitch, I did this, I did that. He posted it, he posted captions, acting hard. Saying what he did, saying what he gonna do. Like, you can't be a gangster pervert rat. Like, you gotta pick one. So my lawyer is like, you they not even finna pick that shit up, bro. Like, I got the upper hand and everything. You touched see. And, and even her saying that, like, no, if I was dude, I would have sued. I'd have pressed charges. On but her. how can you? Because she, she right though, you were sexually assaulted no, her first though. But okay, but at the end of the day, then you could have seen his ass security escort me out if I if I if I violated you, right? Mm -hmm. But the simple fact he came down there, talked to me, whatever. Nobody told me to leave. The security attacked me. Blah blah blah. They had me down. Then you come over there and got your kicks in. So what was your point of you even telling them? Because the, I, I mean, it's the same situation as the dude. Um, um, what's your man? Um, who who stopped the dude about for him touching him? When he stopped, oh, a skiller baby. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm like, if you told them like, all right, chill out. That's you know, you're doing too much. But for you as the performer, you got down and you still, you still entertaining. So I, I could, yeah, I will press. No, but she, you were talking about, she didn't touch him though. Yeah, she, she did, did. on the video. She kicking him. Oh, I didn't see that part. Yeah, on the uh, video, yeah, you I, watched I, the whole video. She kicking him while he on the ground. Oh, you see, I didn't watch that part. Yeah, I, I, she cut, I cut up, it. I cut it off after I seen the dude get up and he get the. No, flexing. no, no. When he got up, they they still got the tussling and all that. And then finally, when they got back on the ground again, she got off the stage and she's sitting there kicking him and all that. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't see that part. So yeah, I didn't see that part. But like I said, I mean, he still he still realistically he touched her first nine times out of ten. You wouldn't. You would wait. I wouldn't. I mean, realistically, I don't know how much money but that's she got. That come with the the the, the whole entertainment thing. 
Nah, dog. No, and, and many of them girls you don't even never, touch it. Dog, yeah, you see, Marcus, come let's, let's, nigga, let's no, yeah, be because serious. it's a girl. But because course, it's a girl. Exactly. But that, but that's my thing. Is it's just like what you expect if you if you in that line of work and you doing whatever you doing. Nah, you can't say that, dog. This is that's a, no, because none of Marcus, you, Nikki wouldn't Marcus. be Nikki, right? But Nikki and them wouldn't put themselves in that position where they can be that close with somebody because you know touch up on them. Now, yeah. sexy reds, no, because it's like go rid of. Then she say when when that time when she stage dive or whatever. And like how they was grabbing all up on her and all that. Yeah, I listen to what I'm saying. I hear what you're saying. That don't come with the job, though. I hear this. Like, she ain't no stripper. Like, I get it. It's a difference if you've seen saying, oh, she was at a strip club. And even at certain strip clubs, you can't even steal. You can't touch them. Like, you can't. Like, it's dog. I hear what you're saying. Trying to say, but no, this is, they're not men. So that's not, it's a totally different. And even just like what you said with the Skiller baby situation, though, he's a dude. And he knew for a fact, if he would have swung and listened to what I'm saying, if he would have popped off on that dude, guess what they would have hit him with? They would have hit him with one with, with, um, uh, with assault, and then they would hit him and try to sit here and say it was a hate crime because it was because he was because it was a gay dude touching him. So yeah, you can't it's just certain things though. You gotta you gotta be careful. You can't just sit here and be like, hey, I want to do whatever I want, or I'm gonna sit here and react however I want. Nah, that don't work like that. Like you, when you on that stage, you still have to be professional to a certain extent, or it's gonna be it's gonna be slow for you. Where that? I remember fact, just because you bought that Skiller baby joint, I thought I. Oh, uh, well, maybe I didn't play. But anyway, he was performing. For people who don't know what we're talking about, Skiller Baby was performing at a show. He had his shirt off. And the cool, and, and the current thing is, he, shout out to him for being on point, actually even no, paying man. attention to his to his awareness. Because no, that was, you know, because when, of course, it, it's misleading. Because if you sit here and say, like, I didn't see the dude hand who actually touched him. You keep watching a girl. It's a girl hand that's continuously touching him the whole time he's talking. So he wasn't talking to the girl. So like I said, I'm watching the video. I didn't see the dude, but he was yeah. paying attention to the scene and saying, but you got to think about it. If it's, he literally surrounded by a bunch of women. So he got to actually be paying attention and on his P's and Q's to even realize that a dude even touched him to be like, hold up, slow down, cut the music off. Hey, I, I appreciate you being here, showing me love, whatever the case may be, but I, that's not the type of party I'm on. That's not the type of time I'm on. Please, I respect for you to keep your hands to yourself. And then he kept performing. So it's just like, but I'm saying, so you can't sit here and say for him, oh, that's a part of the junk. Like you, you supposed to expect for other men to rub on you like that. I didn't sign up for that. I'm trying to perform my song. I can let whoever I want touch me. And if you touch me a certain way, I can respond however I want. Don't, let's, don't forget, and Kevin Gates went to jail for sitting here responding a different way. And that's a man on a woman. So that's a complete, it's completely different. And people look at that differently. So like I said, only my only advice to, um, to that young lady, dog, you need to get your husband into like some, some weightlifting training, some boxing class or something, because that could have went bad for him. Okay. Like that could have literally completely went left. Did you jump them out there? And it was just lucky that the dude was like, he was just rapping too. Cause he could have easily, if he, I'm sure like the, trust and believe his energy for after the way the situation clean, if his energy was on that same type of time when he was in there, that situation could have went extremely left for her. And I'm cool. Like I said, it's cool that the, the husband tried to stand up for his lady, but just the way he went about it, it was just like, bro, it was weak. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hit the gym, go do some yeah. push-ups.